previously on Brick Attacked. This is a cowboy boy. It's a cannon. So it has a work. You just spin it around and that's about it. You can pretend that it shoots. As much as YouTube comments are under fire these days, I have to say that I love the YouTube comment section for a few reasons, maybe more than a few, but the main ones are the fact that you can get feedback on your videos when you're a video creator to know whether you're doing good or bad. And you can also get knowledge from the comments. People can tell you things that you didn't know. And that's what happened to me yesterday when I built El Dorado Fortress. As you saw in the beginning of this video, yesterday when we were playing with the set, Clark asked me what the cannons do. And I replied to him with the knowledge that I had, which is that the cannons don't do anything other than move around like this and the cannons move up and down because that's what I knew from my childhood. But I got a lot of comments from people telling me that the cannon actually fires and asking me why I didn't know that. First of all, let me demonstrate what they're talking about here. And this is the first time that I've ever fired one of these cannons. So you put the thing in there as you saw and what I put in there was one of these little jobs. And then you take that, you pull it back and it fires. So it's probably a good thing we didn't know that yesterday because we would have lost all of these pieces from a 30 year old set, not like I couldn't replace those. But that was my answer that I gave him and I was completely wrong and I didn't realize I was wrong until I read the comment section. So now you're probably wondering, Greg, how did you not know that that cannon fired? And it's because I grew up with this cannon and they may look very similar, but the cannon that I grew up with does not fire. As you can see, this does not pull back. It doesn't do anything other than the thing that I told Clark that it did, which is spin around and go up and down. And these are pretty similar, although mine looks like it's a little bit of a different color, a little bit more of a brown color, maybe from age. But from the side, they look pretty similar. There is the design up on top of this one, which is the one that I had as a kid. And because of that, I gave Clark the wrong information. I didn't think much of this can. I knew it was a little bit different. I just figured because it was older and I wanted to get to the bottom of this and figure out exactly why I grew up without cannons that fired because it's actually kind of cool. So I basically did what anyone else would do in my situation where you're trying to get more information. I went to Google to look up Lego cannons, Lego cannons compared, firing versus non-firing cannons, and I couldn't find much information on it at all. In fact, the only information that I could find was from a few forums. And what they said, and I don't know if this is true or not, and hopefully if you want to comment on this video, and if you're a cannon expert, you can let me know. They said in 1989, which is when El Dorado Fortress came out, in the United States at least, these cannons were the popular ones. These are what started out and they had firing mechanisms. Apparently in the United States, firing mechanisms like that aren't the safest things because kids can get shot in the eye. So shortly thereafter, they came out with these cannons, which don't fire. And that explains why I grew up never knowing what a firing cannon was is because I started collecting probably around 1990, I would have been five or so, and then went from there. So for me being a 90s collector, I never knew a firing cannon. But I will say, if you lived outside the United States, and you can confirm this based on your country, you may have only ever known the firing one. You may have only had these growing up, which is why I think some people were stunned that I didn't know that, because that rule or regulation wasn't enforced everywhere. I thought that was kind of interesting that you may have grown up with cannons that look like this, or maybe you were an adult in the early 90s and you had cannons that were only like that, or maybe you only had cannons that were like this. For me, I only had these ones and I'm kind of bummed because I would have loved firing those around and shooting out walls and things like that. But that's the way it was. And I thought that was kind of interesting, at least from the most basic information that I found out online. I did do a YouTube search to see if there was more people talking about this or if I could actually get a definitive answer from a Lego expert because trust me, I am not one as evidenced by yesterday's video. But I couldn't find anyone actually talking about this or comparing these two cannons. So there you go. This is going to be that video. And if I'm completely wrong on this, Maybe I'll make an update video, but at the very least, just like I mentioned earlier in this video, through the comment section, you guys can talk about this. And if someone's in the same boat as me and they look like an idiot in their video because they didn't know that cannons fired, this is a video that they can come to and maybe find some more information based on some information that I found and maybe even find more information from you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video on firing versus non-firing cannons. Hopefully you found it insightful, useful, maybe completely wrong. No matter what, hopefully you were entertained. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, which will happen to be today.